Well, it's ironic that we're doing this interview in this hide, app, app named Bishop Hyde. Uh, it was paid and donated by Lord Buxton in memory of the Bishop family, who's had a long tradition here at Cly. Uh, my great grandfather was the very first watcher come keeper here in 1926 when the marshes were first purchased. Uh, my father took over from him in 1936 as warden and again watcher they were called and uh, he retired in 1979 in the meantime I started working with him well actually getting paid before that I used to help him uh, but I started working for the trust in 1972 as his assistant and uh, when he retired in 1979 I was lucky enough to get the job as warden here at Cly and as you see I'm still still here so it's been in the family ever since it's been a nature reserve. So it's quite unique like that. We've just been out on the marshes and seen the reed cutting and you saw my son who's helping with the reed harvest and we've just had the other weekend my grandson out on here carrying and carting a few bundles of reeds which is now five generations so it's it's quite unique in that way. Uh, obviously we've seen masses of changes in our lifetime we've gone from meeting people at 10 o'clock at the East Bank and uh, my father used to walk through the reed beds with a, just a handful of people, much the same as we have today, and getting back by lunchtime. And then this last year, the new visitor centre, we had probably in excess of 100, 110,000 people. So it's been, mass it's been a massive change in the, in the time that, that we've been wardening on here. Uh, you know, we've got all the nice new hides now, we've got the nice new boardwalk, We've got more and more money being spent on the reserve, the wader scrapes are being maintained. And uh, let's hope that it continues like that for the future. <laughs> <laughs> 